You know, that's a good question. I've never, you know, all this time I have never really spoke on it or anything because, you know, I believe, you know, when two men got something going on, it's between them two. And, but as far as my opinion on their beef, I won't really say what, I don't know the facts on their situations or whatever, or who's lying about what, or if it was true. But, um, you know, I believe the homie. You know, everybody's going to believe the homie over it, whatever. One thing about it as far as, aside from whatever their situation is, musically, I think they're both dope artists. Um, you know, and that's it. It's just unfortunate to see stuff like that happen. You know, whatever it was that split it, I I think they were. It was a good sound. You know what I mean. And but, you know, at the same time, they're both good artists individually or or with each other. So really, it doesn't matter. Uh, they can just go on their separate paths. But the part that kind of makes it complicated is like, I'm not gonna go do a feature with a track with somebody that's beefing with the homie, but. Man, if they wasn't, you know, that'd be kind of dope. You know, it was around the time where I was about to get a feature from him, so it kind of... And, you know, Twisted Insane has never disrespected me, and he's actually reached out to me and told me, you know, it's all good it's between me and him, whoop de whoop All he wants to do is catch a fade, whatever. That's between them and shit. I don't know what's going on with that or if he squashed it or whatever, but um, I don't know. I, You know, I've been peeping both of their music. You know, I listen to both of them, to be honest with you. Yo, it's but I, tell me, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You guys are the choppers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Which we're going to get off into that in a minute. But these guys are, are you know, very, very high caliber level of talent. And both of them, yeah. what I find unique is they were both homeless at one point in time. Because I remember when, when we yeah. had King Iso on the show, he was talking about he was homeless before he hooked up with Brain Sick and, and Twisted and Say. Yeah. And Twisted and Saying, he was homeless before he uh, he started making And, you know, I that. never I never knew that until recently. I just, as a matter of fact, I didn't know that until a couple of days ago. I saw, him, like, a post because I guess he used to uh, go to some spot where some guy worked and the guy used to give him burgers or something like that when he was homeless and he reached back out and took a picture with him or whatever. Yeah, I saw that's that. You know, that's pretty cool to see things like that. You know, all differences aside from whatever, you know, with the other shit, you know, that's good to see a success story like that, especially a minority in this uh, country. At certain times, you know, when we're, your back's against the wall and you're coming out the gutter, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because now both of these guys are, are touring all over the place. 